right, this is Whitney Mixer. Hi, Whitney. Hi. Whitney? What? Or you guys might know her from uh, The Real L Word or VH1 Couples Therapy, which she also did a little stint on. A brief stint? A brief stint. It's like a drug. You did a brief yeah. stint. No, yeah, Couples Therapy kind of was like being in rehab. It was like you're isolated, no social media, no phone. That makes me need a drink. Yeah. Thinking about my past experiences and decisions, Makes me need a drink. Me too. Well. Me too. That's really right, true. Good. Okay, I'm gonna teach you how to make this. I love that. You know what it's called, right. remember? I think I do. I think it's called the Shantui. 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 All right, raspberries. Yes. How many? Three. Okay. The more okay. the better, really. The more the better, I would say, also. Ooh, yours are nice and like. Oh, nice. I have plump. Okay, then lemon. Okay. So just squeeze one. Just I just recently learned something about lemons that I'm. What? Like, well, I learned that they Dose. did research and 70% um, of lemon rinds have poop on them. So then you're going to do one of these. Ready? It should look like a jam. Wait, can I ask you something? This yeah. whole time, I thought you used the round end for muddling. No, no, no. I used this end for muddling. That's... Whoa! Okay, now we're going to take this lovely Elation Vodka. Well, it smells like weed. Whoa, it does smell like weed. It smells like, like marijuana. It. Damn. That's cool. Get you okay. some elation vodka. Okay, here you go. Ready? Ready? One, two, three, Let's four. Go. Yeah. Then we're going to take this lovely, this is, I just bought it at the store, you guys. I always try to pretend oh. like I make the lemonade. Like, so look, I love like, Lucy. little, what is the, what are those things called? Pulps? Ah, uh, yes. R not rinds, because that would be poop. Yeah. This is a poop-free zone. Poop-free zone. I want to be like Tom Cruise. Oh, hey, vodka. Give it like a little bit of this. Get it off. Oh! oh. Cheers. Miss Strong. To eight years of friendship. You know I've known you for eight. Years. No, cheers. Cheers to eight years of friendship. Now I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna ask you some really important questions. What? <laughs> <laughs> What's the best party you've ever thrown? The best party? Okay, there's two. I've thrown a lot of good parties. But Craig Spring Break last year during Dinosaur Weekend. We had put so much work and effort into it, and it was our first real year. And I looked over the sea of like people having a blast, and I was like, luckily wearing sunglasses, and I was like, I'm so proud of us, Michelle. Like I would had a proud moment. That's so party. sweet, though. And my favorite real like short term party was this Pride Kool Aid in San Francisco. It was the best. Let's talk about, do you think maybe you and I are Eskimo sisters? We might be. I think are you Are you Eskimo? I'm part Inuit. No, do you know what that means? <laughs> An Eskimo sister is someone who's had sex with the same person. Oh, okay. <laughs> sex with the same people. Have Have we? I mean, I we wish... We must have. But I wish that we had like one of those L-word charms. Yeah, I tried starting one when I was on the real L-word and we made one and I was like... I was trying to wipe them up. <laughs> I was like wipe erasing them. I'm like, this is too much. God, I was crazy. I like mean, when, when you and I were good friends, I was a crazy person. I know. I remember one time when we were at Dinosaur Weekend and the Hilton had a fire alarm in the middle of the night. Do you remember this? I do. But I see. Run into it. Rachel. Well. Not in a shirt. <laughs> she was just free but free. Bowling. You know that I pulled that fire alarm. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. You're probably one of the reasons I got into all the slippery situations. I okay. Okay. Let's not pull Just that saying. card. We're about to get into a deep therapy session right now. <laughs> We're gonna decorate party hats. God, I've been waiting. Whoa. Oh my god! Wait, what the fuck is that? My hat is inspired by Rachel's boobs. titties. <laughs> they look like point it. They don't look like this. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Things are getting awkward. <laughs> it just it's and the certain. smell of it is getting me intoxicated. Get oh my god! Can we sign each other's hats? Sign my hat. Okay, sign my hat. Where what color do you want to sign it? In? Uh, black like my soul. Okay. <laughs> Look at that fancy signature. <laughs> hey! Hey! Country. Country. Because we're gonna do Twitter questions. Okay. Are you gonna ask me questions? And I'm gonna ask you questions. We're gonna switch it. I'd like to start by saying this vodka tastes like marijuana. It's delicious. Yeah. Are you ready? 
Right? First question. <laughs> First question. At the Hashley. At the Hashley. At the Hashley. Okay, sorry. At the Ashley Han. What is your go-to drink at the bar? It's just a vodka soda with olive juice and uh, soda water. It's like a dirty martini with a splash of soda. Yeah, but a dirty martini has like a vermouth in it. Are you a bartender? Yeah. This is why you get to all mixology like. Yeah, that's why I know this. Where's your drink? <laughs> 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 On Instagram, Angelism, sex question. Advice for strap on usage. It seems that it would be much like heterosex, which generally not that considers themselves a lesbian would be into. But many lesbians incorporate this. That's the yeah, full. That, that's the question? Question. So strap on sex seems a lot like straight, straight sex. sex. So why do lesbians why do you use do it? Because it? it's amazing. We're not thinking with the dick, we're thinking with the lady. Uh, Love 33, Life 33, what is your favorite drink that would be considered responsible? Is, I mean water. <laughs> water. Always stay hydrated. Water. Oh, thank you oh. for being on the show. You can do like the highest is the highest the highest. There's hamsters coming out of my ass. <laughs> a little boy. A little boy. God, what have you done to me?